Hey guys, Dion Taylor here. In this video, I'm gonna talk about how you can configure the side pane in the deal manager. And I've actually also done a video on the deal manager about what it is, how it works, etc. And we were able to do some configurations here, but we haven't really seen the ability to configure the side pane in the deal manager. So that's what I'm gonna discuss. Grab some popcorn and enjoy. So let me first show you what I'm talking about when I say the side pane, right, in the deal manager. So you can see here that I have uh, links directly to my opportunities, so I can just click on that. And when I do that, you can see that side pane is now showing up on the right side of the screen. Now, I also can click on other types of records. Let's say I wanna click here into this contact record. So now you can see up top here, this is a contact record, but we'll, we're still showing this information here in the side pane. So that's what I'm gonna talk about today, how you can configure uh, the side pane directly here within the deal manager. So you'll need to navigate to make.powerapps.com and then obviously you wanna make sure you have the correct environment selected then what you're going to do is you're going to click here on dataverse and then you're going to go to tables and i'm just going to give it a second here to load but what you'll notice here i'm actually going to go here to my opportunity table oh opportunity right over here and then you're going to go to forms and you'll notice that there is actually an inactive form below the opportunity table that is called the in context form. And here you can see the inactive form, which is that in context form. And if you go to the contact table, you see that it's available there as well. Now, what I did want to mention here is that there are some configurations that are supported, but also there's a lot of stuff that is not supported. So I wanna talk a little bit about what is supported. And if you wanna read that back, you can always check out the article that's related to this video. But basically what we can do is we can remove or add fields to the form header but it seems that only the top two fields are shown in the side pane when you're adding more fields to the header. So keep that in mind as well. So that's what you're seeing up top here. Let me see if I can, oops, if I can zoom in here a little bit. I wanna do that directly from here. So I'm talking about these fields over here. And then you also have, if I scroll down a little bit or scroll out, I should say, uh, you're going to see some sections on here as well, right? You can see here the key details. So you can remove or add fields in this section as well. And this is besides that header is really the only section that you can add or remove fields. So if you want to add fields here to this contact, this primary contact section, they're just not going to show up. I've actually tried that, but nothing is happening. And then obviously collaboration and notes and tasks, you can't really do anything with that either, unfortunately. So it's, it's just this key details section. And then the other things that are supported is making fields read only or changing the tab labels or rearranging those tabs, changing the section labels and hiding or changing field labels. So any of the other form configurations are not supported, which means that we cannot change the layout of, of any of those sections or tabs, or we cannot add sections or tabs either. Uh, well, I guess you can, but you're not going to be able to view them on the side pane. So that doesn't really do anything. And then you can also not add web resources because they're not supported today. 
neither is adding a subgrid or quick view forms. So again, not unfortunately, not a lot that we can do, but still, right, if you wanted to add some fields in the key details section, you can obviously uh, do that if you want. And that just works the same way uh, that it works uh, for quote unquote normal forms as well. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to hit that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe so you'll never miss another video again. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day, everyone.